Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to show the full code uh, of our real time transcription from Dialogflow CX side, right? When you make a call. So last year, I created a video on uh, this one, right? Uh, the similar uh, use case where I demonstrated how we can do the transcription and how we can get the how we can get the conversations in the real time, right? So apparently people have asked for the source code. I didn't notice. Sorry for those people who have asked, but uh, right now I'm creating. I will share the link to their comment section also. Okay. So basically what we are doing is we have a one spring project. Okay. Spring boot, right? And in this, uh, we have, I have already set all the details. I will explain the code a little bit later. Uh, let me first do the demo. Okay. So what it do is uh, whenever we make a call to our Dialogflow CX. Okay. So this is my Dialogflow CX is there. I've just uh, downloaded the travel car rental, which is available from there. I have already added a phone number to that. Let me make a call to that. Uh, let's hope that you are able to hear this. Uh, Hi, I'm the virtual car rental agent. I can help you start a new car rental reservation. How can I assist you today? I am looking to have a rental of a new SUV car. Where would you like to pick up the vehicle? Mumbai. Okay, your pickup will be in Mumbai. Is your drop-off location different from your pickup location? No. What date and time would you like to pick up the vehicle? Tomorrow at 3 p.m. What date and time would you like to drop off the vehicle? Monday at 1 p.m. So to confirm, you will be picking the vehicle up in Mumbai, the 20th of April, 2024, 52 or 0 minutes and 0 seconds, and dropping it off at the same location. So yeah, this is the call flow that we have, right? And uh, over here, over here, you can see that uh, we extracted the real, uh, the conversation, like right? uh, the latest conversation which is in progress, and then we are looping it, or we are continuously trying to pull the current conversation which is going through in that conversation ID. Okay. So now let's understand the code. Uh, it's pretty simple, nothing complex over here. What we are doing is we have a conversation client which has been created. You can also use the API. Just search for the conversation client and uh, list messages, right? So you will get uh, what exactly you have to do with respect to API. But if you are into Java side, uh, I prefer using the clients or the SDK they provide, right? So what we are doing is over here is first we are creating a parent. In this, we require two items. Uh, one is project ID and is the location, okay? Uh, that information you can see over here. So this is the project that I have. So this my this is my project and this is my location, right? Uh, location is global. This is my project ID, right? Oops, not here. Uh, where is the code? Yeah. From here, we create a client, right? So now if you want to filter out uh, life cycle state, so the call which are in progress, only those call you want, you can use in progress. Uh, if you want uh, the calls which are already completed and then you want those calls, then you can use this completed status. If you don't want to restrict anything, just comment out this part. Uh, so it will give you both completed and in progress calls. Okay. So that is one. So let me do one zip. Oh, it's still running. Okay. Now what it are we doing is uh, it gives you whole conversations, right? List of conversation from here, list of conversation. And let me just. Let me stop this one so that we don't delete this one and delete this one, delete this one. Okay. 
uh, those are the garbage lines okay uh, so what we are doing over here we are getting all the list of conversations and from there we are just picking the first one right so what it gives you in the descending order right so the first conversation will be the latest one and from there on it will goes uh, based on the dates right uh, what I am also creating is the HTML the HTML which you see over here right uh, if you require the HTML you can leverage the HTML uh, which is given over here right and after that what I am doing is based on that conversation ID right so we got the first conversation ID and from there what I am doing is I am creating a list of message requests right so what I am doing is I am looping through it and asking for the latest messages which gives you in the format of uh, if it is spoken by the bot uh, sorry virtual agent or it is by the human right so that by profession I have already done so automated agents and the else part is the human and there is also a assisted agent is there when the call goes to the agent actual live agent so that part uh, if you need to add those that also you can add uh, another uh, if else over here right so what it does uh, it pass it we add it to this uh, uh, HTML format right over here and then we display it right all this information now I have also added a few more lines or few more codes over here so something called test connection so just to if you don't want to use the UI just wanted to pull a particular conversation right so over here uh, you can try out this simple Java code right so if I do right click and yeah let me do right click and run as Java application so what it will do is it will give you in the console uh, so don't ignore those exceptions because those are based on the old libraries that I have oh I don't have the permission why oh, okay because I forgot the important parts okay so two important part before you uh, we close the video one is we need a permission right so permission to execute this thing for our project right so right now I executed uh, my uh, the code I got this error uh, this I am permission dialog flow conversation list is not available. Okay, so for that what you have to do is you have to download the service account Okay, uh, how to do that? I have already mentioned in this video. Okay, I have given the link of this video also in the description going to discuss how you can leverage that one so, Okay, so what you have to do is in under the I am Whatever the service account you're planning to use. Uh, I have used this Avaya test dialog flow service account and it should have the permission of Dialogflow API client. How to add a uh, role? So you just click over here and uh, click uh, add another role if nothing is there. Search for your role that you're looking for. So what we are looking for is Dialogflow API client. So this permission has to be added over there. Uh, I already have it, so I will not do it. Then from here, go to the service account for that user that we have over here. Uh, just click on that link go to the keys and generate the key okay uh, and this will you can use for uh, your uh, this will sorry so this will give you a service account okay now what to do with this service account uh, let me show so once you get it over here you have to go to the run configuration and you have to add as a environment variable over here right so we already added for this one so i will add this over there again this thing is explained clearly in that video uh, the link is in that description section i'm just uh, copying the value for uh, quickly so that uh, we can complete the test of the click apply run so now if I run it, uh, you will able to see in the console that now it is able to, now it should able to or will be able to pull the informations that we had the last call, okay. Uh, it also gives few more details about the times taken by each and every one, every functionalities that we are making. Uh, that is for my use case that I was trying, okay. So yeah, uh, code is available in the GitHub. Link is again given in the description.
videos of this video also this video is given in the description and uh, yeah spring code the spring boot up code uh, sorry uh, spring boot code is also available in the description section which is in the github hopefully you like the video thank you have a nice day